you ever found yourself so infatuated with something that it was all you could ever think about? Or how about going out of your way to learn the nuances of said thing? So much so that the people around you turned your interest into a running joke in the group. Well, chances are, you may be on the spectrum. But if we move past this BS unlicensed diagnosis and connect to the important part of that entire bit, then we realize that there are plenty of people that do the same. People who come from different backgrounds, cultures, etc. And yet can be condensed into usually one word. A nerd. A nerd. My bad, that wasn't yeah, on time. That was, okay. yeah, I, I fucking... Oops. And the type of nerd we're going to be talking about today... Ugh, I burped a little bit. That was kind of gross. My bad, guys. Uh, Cut. And the type of nerd we're going to be talking about today are called otakus. What does that mean? I was getting there. Now, an otaku is a person that has an intense or obsessive interest in manga and or anime. And some of these interests show their faces in different ways. For example, some people enjoy having collectibles. You know, whether it's a room completely dedicated to collecting their favorite anime memorabilia, a bedroom full of anime memorabilia, or a shrine. Really solidifying the obsessive part. And moving on, we have cosplayers. And these are the fans that really kind of just enjoy dressing up as their favorite characters. Whether it be something simple like you know, just for fun, or, you know, to connect with other people. To those who spend hours and months building out their entire costume sets, and sometimes, I'll be honest, I get kind of jealous. Like, some of those things look really cool, and I know that this example right- Wait, wait, wait. I think it's on this side. And I know that this example is not technically anime, but this Iron Man one is so cool. And although it's not something that I personally have done as an anime fan, I gotta be honest. Cosplaying as a whole looks kind of fun. I mean, if these people are cosplaying outside of conventions as these characters' significant others, it, it must be a lot of f And these are just really one kind of otaku, right? There's plenty more. For example, we have our walking anime encyclopedias. These fans seemingly know anything about everything anime related. Need to know the title of that one song in the middle of episode 6? They got you. Kind of curious about that specific voice actor and everything they've ever done? They got you. Did you make the mistake of asking that one person about their favorite anime and now they're showing you all their favorite fanfic of this show and they found that the storylines in this fanfic is way better than the storylines in the other fanfics that they found. Is this one stays really true to the origins of the character created by Akira Toriyama? And once you go really far down that rabbit hole of the fanfic world, it just really doesn't make any more sense. I think you get the gist. They, they got, got you. you. That being said, we move towards the weirder part of the otakus. The weeaboos. Have you ever had that one friend that kind of just thinks Japan is better than everywhere else in the world? Weeaboo. Or that friend you go with to go eat Japanese food, and they start doing that weird shit in front of the waiter because they're trying to respect their culture, but in reality, everyone else is just cringing? Weeaboo. Or the ones that make comments like, Japanese waifu is the way to go because, you know, they're so much more submissive. That is disgusting behavior. It is a sickness! Now, although that last friend may have some deep-rooted issues that we're not gonna talk about on this channel, those may be some signs that your friends have uh, gone down the rabbit hole and have drank too much of the baka juice. Now, I'm sure some of you normies are probably sitting there like, are people really that awkward? Do people really do shit like that? Well, that, insert viewer name here, leads us into our next person. The ones that had all of us casuals hiding the fact that we were anime fans between the 2010s to closer to COVID times. The socially awkward ones. I feel like I've said plenty of times that I've got it. My bad. These are the ones that made every anime fan look bad back in the day. Ones that would scream at the top of their lungs and try and go Super Saiyan the second that somebody pissed them off. Or the ones that ran like Naruto unironically because they read somewhere that it made them run faster. Or the ones who sat brooding in the corner acting like the emo kid in the back of the class because they thought if they acted mysterious enough that they'd be kind of like that anti-hero character in every anime like the Sasuke's and think that every girl's gonna like them. But they didn't! You're still feeling kind of mysterious? Huh? You stupid sidekick? Unfortunately, to this day, they still do exist. But it is our job as those who share the title to help our fellow anime fans out. Whether it's to help apply the life lessons that they've claimed they've learned in anime, or to teach them how to be the MC of their own story, or to tell them that telling your crush that they remind you of your favorite waifu is probably going to have them hide their phone, not give you their number. As a matter of fact, they're probably going to take their phone, hide it in their back pocket, and claim that they left it at home. I feel like that happened to you. Did it happen Sh to you? Shut up! Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, if you found this video, I'm assuming either it's A, you're a new anime fan and this is the first time you've heard this term, and hopefully this helped out. Or B, you're already one of us, and you kind of just wanted a good laugh. 
And if you are B, or maybe even A, just make sure you're one of the fun ones, right? Don't be one of the negative ones. You can be one of us. But don't fuck this up. What are you talking about? Wally was here the whole time. You didn't realize Wally was here the whole time? No, Wally, can you tell them you're here the whole time? Hey guys, back again with another great YouTube video. I'm so happy to be here as always. I'm feeling pretty and pink, can't you tell? I can. You don't do the thing. Make me pretty and pink. You know, like you always do. Of course. You know, we're, we're just at the studio having a great time. Get on the Sorry, um, distracted here at the studio. I'm at the studio with Joe. Feeling pretty pink. Hope you guys enjoy. See? Bye.